All right, what is going on, CryptoFred76? It is your boy, James. Uh, and I am the middlest member of the CryptoFred76 network here with uh, a mini vlog type thing. So we are going to, we are planning on going to a con. Um, just for some context, uh, you know, we like to go to Comic Cons. Actually, we made a little poster for when we went to Terrificon. I think this was 2017 or 2018. So, you know, we, we went into Justice League right there. And uh, I'm coming out of retirement one more time to start another series of costumes. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Gladiator Thor, so I'll put a picture up right now. But I also wanted to do a Stormbreaker, so it's kind of like a hybrid. Uh, Colin's going to be Loki. Kevin is going to be Captain America with the white sleeves. Matthew is going to be Spider-Man. There we go. He's going to be like Tom Holland Spider-Man. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on right now. We were going to go to Home Depot, but we actually have a ton of EVA foam left over from something. You could see our Captain America shield over there. That's made out of one sheet of EVA foam. So we just have a bunch of extra stuff, and I wanted to start on my Stormbreaker. So I got to trace out the pattern for it, cut it out. I think I'm going to glue multiple sheets together, uh, and I'll show you all the progress. But this is going to be kind of like a tutorial slash vlog. Um, so I'm taking inspiration from like Odin Makes, Dustin McLean for the Stormbreaker. Uh, and then for the actual costume, I think uh, Mark Johnson did it on like DIY Costume Squad or something like that. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check out those videos. Uh, we might leave them down below. We might not. Um, it's not that hard to find on YouTube, but you know, I'll, let, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so for the curvature on the blade on Stormbreaker, I want to do a compass idea where you use uh, two pens and a piece of string. All right, y'all. So I think y'all might be getting the idea here. So I cut out three different uh, like axe heads i guess is what they're called and the idea is we're gonna sand this edge and then clip it we're gonna glue them all together with some contact cement yeah so we're gonna glue them with some contact cement and then we're gonna sand it and it is gonna be smooth at a, as a baby's butt and also when you're making this don't stress if the cut isn't completely neat and that's just uh you know we're gonna sand it and it's gonna look really nice later all right work it why is the flash on Working on the hammer side of Stormbreaker, we got another block, and we are just going to use the hacksaw. We're going to take off a certain uh, chunk of this and a certain chunk here, uh, and we're going to sandwich uh, the green part in between uh, two pieces of the foam that I'm going to use for the axe head. All right, so we might take off a little bit more, but obviously we have to do it on the other side first, so let's do that. All right, so if you guys have a different foam block, you can actually skip this step, but I want to make the middle of this thinner. So you can see I drew some lines on there. I'm just going to go back in with a hacksaw and make it a little bit thinner. All right, I got another update for the Stormbreaker. So uh, I have officially glued on this piece. Uh, and then I glued on some extra foam pieces just to make the base a little bit thicker. Uh, I do have some lines on here to cut it later. But the main thing is right here. Uh, this is to glue uh, both of these parts shut. So uh, I ran out of contacts on it. So I just put some Gorilla Glue in there. Uh, and then we have these two uh, planks and then some nice clamps on there. So I'm going to let this dry somewhere for a very long time. Uh, honestly, uh, a couple hours minimum. Uh, and we're going to see how this comes out. I'm probably going to work on um, the handle now uh, or the shaft for Stormbreaker. Uh, so let's get to it. All right. We out here in Home Depot just, just trying to cop the PVC pipe for uh, the Mjolnir yeah, and the Stormbreaker. We have some expand foam for something. I don't know if that's for this project or not. And then we got some Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is to like cover the EVA foam and all the other stuff. So it's, it's kind of like a primer, but it's like a flexible primer. All right, y'all, just got back from a Michael's trip. We got some of these cone thingies for the Stormbreaker, I guess. Got some craft foam right here. We got some rope. We got some tape. We got some more tape. And that's it. We're, we're getting ready, boys. I have the shaft for Mjolnir here, almost finished. Just gotta sand it a little bit. And then uh, I gotta put uh, another cone on this end and then obviously put the hammer head on there. I, uh, I don't know when the last time I did an update on the Stormbreaker head was, but uh, I added these foam pieces just to smooth out the sides and I'm gonna do some more sanding here. For the Stormbreaker shaft, uh, I glued on all these craft foam uh, sheets uh, and now I'm going to sand this uh, with the Stormbreaker head. Wait, you're going to say that? No, you're going to say that right now. Like, are you recording right yes, now? Yes, I am recording. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then it all happened when I held up my magic Stormbreaker and said, uh, by the power of Asgard. I 
All right, so I was working on the shaft here, trying to sand down all these different pieces together. Uh, and if you do go the route that I did, which is covering everything with multiple sheets of craft foam, uh, you might run into the same problem that I did, and it is very hard to sand it down uh, to get it to be nice and smooth. So instead, uh, I bought this brown duct tape. I forgot what I was originally gonna use it for, uh, but now I'm just using it for uh, to cover up these uh, ugly seams. So hopefully after I do that, it'll look good. I could paint it and plus if the paint chips off, which it probably will, it'll just be brown underneath. Alrighty, this is what we got so far for the Stormbreaker. Time to paint. All right, I'll just paint the root stick with some, uh, I believe it's chestnut brown from Rust-Oleum. Uh, uh, probably gonna do two coats of this just so that uh, you know it stays on and the main thing for me personally is I want the rope uh, to be darker than the stick so uh, you know as long as you got that uh, you can really use any color brown that you want all right y'all I did have to come upstairs momentarily but I wanted to show you guys uh, the Groot stick which is pretty much finished so it's just some rope from Michaels uh, that I got and I painted it a darker brown as you could see it is a little bit darker than the actual stick which is how I wanted it um, so now we, I got to uh, do a few more details to the axe head, uh, paint it silver, and then wrap the big rope around it. All right, so I added some details onto the Stormbreaker head, just some craft foam really quick. Uh, I also added that piece. Uh, so now I just heat sealed it. I'm going to plasti dip it, paint it silver, and then I'm going to glue it on to the Groot stick or the shaft or the handle, whatever you want to call it. And then this will actually be done. All right, all right, all right. This uh, Stormbreaker is officially done. It's probably at the highest point, close to four feet tall, honestly. It's probably over three and a half feet tall. Uh, I know the PVC pipe was three feet and then we bent it a little bit. Uh, the finishing details, uh, I don't know if I sprayed, I think the last clip I told you what I was gonna do. So I sprayed this, uh, then you add on your thick rope. This rope is a little bit thicker than the one down there and down there. Uh, and I just wrapped it around a, a couple times and glued it and taped it in certain places. And then right here, uh, I just loaded up the hot glue uh, and just stuck it right on there. Uh, put this on some like spray glue stuff, just put it inside the hole and then stuck it onto the pipe. Uh, and it looks pretty freaking sick. <sighs> so overall, this probably cost it around, probably looking at like $25, including the spray paint. So like $25 to $30 for the whole thing. It took me probably about a week, like on and off. So if you were to just go at the thing for, and you had all the materials all at once, it would probably cost, or it would probably take like three or four days. But dude, this thing looks freaking sick. I'm so happy with how, with how this came out. Let's move on. All right, so for Mjolnir, we also have cut this PVC pipe. I think it's about 16 inches long. And we have some of this uh, leather. I think it's 11 or 12 inches long. And uh, we're gonna, put it up like about an inch up so that we could have uh, the bottom piece of the hammer. And uh, we're gonna use contact cement, paint it on the leather and the pipe uh, to glue it on, hopefully. All right, so I'm almost done with uh, the stick of the Mjolnir here. And what I had to do was uh, actually have a bunch of scrap pieces here. So what you gotta do is you have to cut it way bigger than you want it to be, but you have to leave enough uh, to put a little strap on the end I guess this will be the strap because this looks nicer. Uh, you have to leave enough to put a little strap on the end. I believe this is about three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, and then you see I have all this scrap left over. So you have to get a square bigger than you actually want it to be. Uh, coat it with uh, contact cement. Then put contact cement. You can see I have a little bit of uh, excess on here. All those yellow stains are from the contact cement. Uh, put it, You put it on both sides. So you put it on uh, the pleather and the PVC pipe. Then you wrap it with the pleather and then you have to cut it. So you could see my seam isn't perfect yet up here and down here it looks pretty flush, but in the middle it's still kind of jagged. So uh, originally I cut it off with the scissors uh, and then I had I have to go in closer with my box cutter. All right, so the seam still doesn't look perfect. There are There is a little bit of uh, edging there, but for the most part, um, it's pretty good. And uh, you know, when you like wrap your hand around it, you're not even gonna see it. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, so now uh, I think my dad is gonna get a one inch drill bit right now. Uh, so we could drill a hole uh, in the bottom of that foam block, stick it on here. I'm gonna get a little piece of craft foam to put on the, uh, on the bottom here. I have the strap and then our meal is gonna be finished. A very easy one day prop. You could probably do this in an afternoon. All right, so just found these perfect foam blocks in Target for a Jonathan. I mean, a, a, a Mjolnir. Don't even. It, it, 
Look, it's already beveled and everything. Don't even have to do anything. Just got to paint it, stick it on a PVC pipe, and we're good. All right, y'all. So I finished my little craft foam pommel here with the strap on. Um, But Kevin just picked up... He just picked up a PVC cap. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. He just picked up this for 87 cents, and now I just feel silly. The only difference is that there's a little thing on there, but we could sand that off real easy. So I think I'm going to pull this off. We're going to connect the strap to this thing. Uh, and actually, we also picked up a one-inch drill bit for our Jonathan. Can you all see that? Boom! These foam blocks that we got, I don't know if... There we go. It says Jayam? I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. Don't know how to say that, but we could just sand it off right there and you can't even see it i can't even see it in person so we're gonna do that so uh, it's really good when you have a bunch of different colors like we have this tri-colored block to use uh, a primer so we have a flat gray two coat primer from rustoleum uh and we're just gonna spray it on here and hopefully uh, after that we can put the silver on and it'll look like the hammerhead i always like using a flat gray or a matte black uh because it dries really quick like this is gonna dry in a minute or two now uh, a paint job, a pommel, and a leather strap later, we have a Mjolnir. Ah! Just took this thing up a whole new level, put some painter's tape on the shaft, and then painted it, and it looks amazing. All right, big update here. We are in the process of Hello? making a Loki helmet. Yes, sir. So we have these two pieces well for the... I don't know if you Face can see plate. it, but it looks cool. And then we have this for the band that goes around the back of his head. We are making the Loki from Thor Ragnarok. So now all we have to do is the horns and paint it, and then we're done with that. I don't think we're going to be done with this for a while, though, to be honest. Okay, so Loki's helmet has this, like, layered pattern, I guess. So we are just making that out of craft foam. All right, quick update. Just started painting the Loki helmet. Uh, we put some Plasti Dip on first, and then we got the blue on there. So uh, the next step is to uh, mask it off and then paint on the gold, right? Yes, sir. Also, as it turns out, Colin doesn't know how to spray paint. Shut up. So this is going to be fun. All right, so the Loki helmet is painted sort of. Uh, we don't have any gold. Uh, we picked up this ring at Michael's, uh, and I'm currently trying to shave it down to make it pointy you know and then i think i'm just gonna wrap these two pieces in foam <sighs> should have gotten extra foam all right now before you guys go on and make your own loki helmets i want you to know that if you do end up getting uh, a styrofoam type of material for the horns do not spray paint it spray paint absolutely ruins styrofoam and unless you kind of want like a crinkled up look um I would, uh, I actually uh, used acrylic paint. It looks a lot more splotchy on camera than it is in person. Uh, I could do another coat, uh, but I'm also thinking about just leaving it like this because it looks a little weathered. And uh, I think uh, once I put it on the helmet like that, it'll look good. And to attach them, we're gonna use magnets. It won't come off. All right, so I'm trying to finish up the Loki helmet here. Uh, and originally I was gonna have a piece, uh, it was gonna be right there and then I was gonna connect to that side, and uh, that's how I was gonna connect it. But I, now I'm starting to think that I should just cut a seam down the back. You can see that little line right there. Just put a Velcro latch there, and then I'll make a piece that connects these two. I just think, you know, it'll fit more people like that. Uh, everybody could wear it if they want to. Uh, and I just think it'll look a lot better. <laughs> All right, dude, this thing looks awesome. I haven't put the final magnets on for the horns yet, but dude, just a little quick update. This thing looks absolutely sick. Uh, it looks a little small on me. That's because it's made to fit Colin's head. Um, but actually, so you can see, I put this piece right here. In the back, we have the Velcro latch. So there's a little bit of a gap for me, but hopefully for Colin, uh, the gap will be closed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's actually gonna conclude part one of uh, my little prop making series here. Eventually we are gonna get into actual costumes, uh, but for this video, I just showed you guys how I made uh, the Thor hammer, the Stormbreaker, and the Loki helmet. Uh, there are obviously a bunch of different ways that you could do all these. A lot of these are inspired from other people's videos that I watched. Uh, some of them are my own ideas, specifically on the Loki helmet. I did take kind of my own creative liberties, making it mostly out of foam. Um, but you know, for the most part, you guys could watch my video, go watch other videos. Uh, I talked about some of them in the beginning, um, but that's going to wrap it up. If you guys enjoy, like, subscribe, and come back for more because I'm going to be doing a ton of parts for this. With that being said, this is the Crypto Fred 76 Network. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. Avengers!
assemble. Oh my god, what the <laughs> That's going at the very end. <laughs>